Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you this really cute set from Spellbinders. This is a tool kit and a tool box for the handyman in your life. We've got the saw and we've got a level and we've got screwdriver and hammer and wire cutters and wrench and of course the toolbox. Let me show you what I am making with that. This is the card that I am going to finish making. I did some paper piecing. I used brown for the handle. I cut this all out in silver, of course. This is the 3D embossing folder piece that I showed you on my live last week. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna back that with brown. Just, just barely a little less than the card base. And then I'm gonna put this over brown. And then I'm using a piece of Mad About Plaid. There's so many cool plaid patterns here. It's gonna go like that. Then I have a plain piece of blue and it's going to go over the top. And then finally, our cute little toolbox with its assembly of pieces. I did do some paper piecing. As you can see, here's my level. But that yellow liquid in the middle, I went ahead and cut a yellow piece and glued that in. And I've got my wrench and my wire cutters. And the wire cut, they're all in silver. But I did some more paper piecing with the hammer. And I'm going to go ahead and do some with the screwdriver also. So here I have one screwdriver in silver and one in red. I'm going to cut off the bottom piece of the red one and I'm going to attach it to the silver one. It really helps. It's indented so you know pretty much where to cut. It's very, very tiny. There is our screwdriver and we're going to go ahead and put it in the toolbox. I have a piece of low tech runner here and let's, I want to show some of the red. So let's put it like this. Have it come to the outside of the toolbox. Now, I used my wood embossing folder, wood grain embossing folder. I went ahead and cut the piece out, and then I put the piece itself into the embossing folder and made this really cute wood pattern. How's that for a nice little set? Okay, let's put our card together. I didn't emboss this brown piece because I said figured we had enough embossing with the metal with the silver metal piece here. So put on our mad 
over plaid. And then we're going to add this piece. Before we get too much further, let's go ahead and stamp the inside of the card with Because You're Awesome. I'm going to be using my hybrid Knight of Navy. I used French Aquamarine, but it was a close enough color to re-ink. Okay, let's... Hope. I don't want to push too hard because I did get ink on the edges. And I don't want that on my card. There we go. Now I'm going to stamp for you on this piece of white scrap. And then I'm going to cut it down with my trimmer. There you go. Okay, now let's continue. I'm going to put the saw up here. And the toolbox down here. And the for you right in the center. Okay, let's pop up the for you of that. We'll set that aside for now and we will go ahead and glue on our little die cuts. Let's use this scrap here. I can go ahead and put some snail across the bottom of here. And oops. And then some glue across here. Right. 
I'm making a mess, I think. All right, let's put this down here. There we go. That's better. You can just barely see the yellow. Okay, now let's put our for you. And voila. And what card of mine would not be complete without Nugo Drops or Liquid Pearls? This is... It says Dimensional, dimensional Pearlescent Paint. But I don't have the actual color. Let me test it first. There we go. Just like a little piece of hardware. So let's go ahead and put this. I know it's a I know it's a masculine card, but they still look like hardware. <laughs> and there you have it. If you enjoyed this and got value, please like and consider subscribing so you can see my other projects coming up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.